Clemens Homebrew. Coming at ya. Hey, we've got a special beer here today. This one came from my best friend, Dan. Sweet. His godfather. That's right. Good guy. <laughs> and uh, it's a great looking beer. Take a look at this. This is the bourbon barrel aged OE for Old English. It's a limited release from Smog City Brewing out of Torrance, California. Yeah, it's uh, it's aged over one year in freshly emptied bourbon barrels, so who doesn't love that? So uh, it's bourbon barrel aged, but also a barley wine. 14.9 ABV. 14.9. It's a heavy one. That's that's why I needed my son here to help me. You gotta share something <laughs> like that. Don't be don't be stingy and keep Absolutely. it to yourself. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get this cracked open. We let's gotta get it. through the wax. All right, let's take a look at this. We kind of went back and forth pouring. So they're they're equally uh, a little murky looking. Yeah, a nice medium brown color though. Mm. Yeah. Uh, not much head on it. Nope, not really. Let's let's see if we can get out of the nose. Definitely getting the barrel and the uh, the barley wine smell immediately. Yeah, and, gotta... and you know what it reminds me of immediately was the Firestone Walker, like, Sukaba. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Oh, man, it's been a while since I've had that yeah, one. Yeah, very much. It has a little less coconut than the Sukaba mm -hmm. has, but it's mm -hmm. very, very similar. I'm definitely getting a, a vanilla on it. I do feel like I almost get a little coconut off it. It's It's the almost. vanilla. They've got to have vanilla bean or something like it's, that. It's got to be the vanilla playing off the oak, because I'm getting the oak on it, actually. And the bourbon, that combination. Right, right. And which it, is bringing in that vanilla and a little bit of like a caramel in it. Yeah, you definitely get caramel. You definitely get some uh, of the toffee. Yeah, I was going to say more toffee than caramel, actually. Yeah. But, God, yeah, it almost brings on almost to a coconut. Not yeah. as strongly as what, what Firestone has. It's but. got a light fruitiness that I can't place, almost, uh... Yeah, there's a little bit of dark fruit, Almost and I can't like quite stone, nail it. Almost like a stone, not quite an apricot, but somewhere in that range. Uh, well, I feel like I get just a hint of date sugar almost, too. Maybe that's it, yeah. Some sort of pitted fruit. But... Wow, that's just... It's a... Uh, uh... I can just bury my nose in this all day. Yeah, it's like the, like a <laughs> like a creme brulee type yeah. quality yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that just smells super good. I think it's time to dive on in. What do you think? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Cheers. It's interesting. I. Ooh, wait. I thought I got a big hit at the end. I was disappointed like it had a little bit thinner feel, but it is really cold right now still. So as we mm. warm it up, we're going to get a thicker... It's rich and creamy, uh, body, though. But it's very rich. It really is. And then at the end, I got this, like, just boom, this big hit where uh, this huge toffee and the bourbon kind of kicked in. Yeah. It's kind of got a bubbly effervescence to it as well. It kind of makes it kind of a bright feeling. It's not too heavy at all. Yeah, the, the only thing that's slightly disappointing for me is it's got a, a good bit of tannins on it. It does. It does. Maybe I've been drinking too much whiskey, so I didn't notice it as much, but I'm, you know. He's had me drinking a lot more whiskey, too, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Can you blame me? But speaking on that, I'm definitely getting the bourbon out of it. There's definitely like a caramelly toffee vanilla, which is a standard in like all bourbons that you, you get that kind of corn sweetness. Not that I'm getting a corn sweetness here, but it definitely has a sweetness. Uh, but every bourbon has that caramelly vanilla sweet flavor and that's coming through very strong in this well for me the disappointment with the tannins is because the bitterness from the tannins a little higher than i would have hoped for and then that takes away from some of the sweetness it can balance sure. it to a degree but i think there's a little bit more in the profile than i would have wanted i think for me the tannins come through more on the after on, on the finish Right, so it doesn't leave you with just the sweet after backside taste with tannins kick up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But it's a really fun beer. There's a bit of toastiness I'm getting in there in well. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. more on the toasted notes than roasted notes. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. So they really didn't use the, the darker ones. It really does lend itself more to, like they said, an English barley wine than an American barley wine because yeah. it doesn't have that all that much by hop type character, etc., going on. Oh, definitely not. And a lot of times in the American barley wines, 
you'll get some more more on the coffee side as well um, and this really bounces heavily heavily on the uh, uh, toffee side definitely I mean, yeah I'm definitely kind of getting those grains coming through which I think is kind of that uh, old English style mm. it's funny because I'm still almost getting like a coconut kind of aroma on this even after tasting it but it doesn't come through in the flavor at all so that's that's an interesting thing to me did you want to smell this Cameron Mm -hmm. All right. We have our, the oldest grandson here. Come on up over here. Just the nose. There Just the go. nose. So you can smell. That smells really good. Yeah. What see. It, and what? Here, yeah. smell again, and tell me if you can smell caramel candies. Or maybe some vanilla. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. He's mm. bouncing. That's how good it smells. That's that. Mm -hmm. That says a lot. You should be doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah, so it's time to do some ratings on this. Um, that's hard. Uh, so for me, uh, I'm going to go, we'll go with a style first. I mean, it is a barrel aged um, to a, a certain degree. Um, I would love to have had this without the barrel, except for that I love getting the bourbon in it. That's the, that's the nice kick. That's the best part. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> All the toffee on that is pretty, pretty great. That's so. true. You know they work well together the barrel age isn't fighting the barley wine too much they kind of actually work well together so for me because i think the tannins are a little high for me i've got it really really well but that that little that extra kick of tannins i'm gonna put it for style at a 94. uh yeah all right for for style as a barley wine um gosh i you know, I think he, I think you stuck it right. I'm gonna have to say 94. It definitely is a barley wine. It has all the characteristics. Um, it falls more into the English barley wine style, but overall, it's very drinkable and it falls well within its category. Overall, though, I just dig on this huge toffee and this light caramel, and getting the bourbon quality. And I'm actually going up for my overall, um, getting out of the style, and I'm gonna bump it up to a 95. Ha. I'm gonna say a 96 because uh, being being a scotch aficionado a bit and a bourbon aficionado and I've tried all sorts of styles now um, I don't mind those tannins so much um, and I think it they, they kind of bounce the sweetness so yeah I'm gonna say overall this is definitely something I could I could drink more of <laughs> maybe not an entire bottle of myself because it's 14.9 but <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> you know after a bourbon, who knows? <laughs> so uh, I wouldn't say uh, skip this one. No, I would say t totally get this one. If you want to party in your mouth, <laughs> go ahead and grab one of these. <laughs> Here it is again. It's the Bourbon Barrel Aged OE. Limited release. It is a barrel aged barley wine at a whopping 14.9% ABV. I'd say if you can get your hands on this, get your one. If you like one or the other style, definitely grab it. If you like both styles, it is a must try for <laughs> sure. So what do we say? Life's too short. Drink cheap beer. And we'll see you on the next beer review. Thank you.